Hey guys, this is Dr. Laura Conover, and today I want to talk to you about why grounding right now is absolutely crucial. We're all under prolonged increased stress during this pandemic, especially healthcare workers and frontline workers. It's a really traumatic situation with no end point, right? So our body is under chronic stress and we're really starting to see the effects of trauma, stress, and even PTSD flaring. When we go through trauma and when we go through stress, our body immediately responds uh, by regulating our internal organs to help us to get into that fight or flight. I'm sure you've heard of that. What happens? Your muscles tense, your heart rate increases, your circulation constricts to kind of prepare you for this fight or to run, to flee. Your uh, pupils dilate, your digestion totally shuts down because now is not the time to just enjoy a leisurely meal and digest it, right? We're on alert. Over time, our hormones, adrenaline and cortisol are pumping into our blood. Our sleep is um, absolutely affected. And over time with affected sleep and with increased inflammation in the body and increased stress, we can even have memory changes, brain changes that are seen on MRI All that can be addressed through grounding. Grounding the human body means directly going outside and touching the earth so that your body's conductivity is linked in to the electrical magnetic field that the earth pulses with. The earth actually has a very comforting, soothing heartbeat. It's called the Schumann resonance. And it's constantly pulsing this healing frequency that medical studies have shown when we connect our conductive body to the earth outside directly physical contact, our body becomes instantly grounded and it responds to this healing energy by all the, reversing all of the parameters of trauma and stress that we really don't want to experience for long term. So, so that whole fight or flight response that your body has, everything tense, begins to relax and reverse and go into the opposite, which is rest and digest. So that muscle tension we talked about, that immediate muscle tension response, if I hooked your body up to an EMG to read muscle tension, this instant you are grounded, muscle tension instantly begins to drop in the muscles. Your muscles begin to relax. Same thing with your cardiovascular system. When you go into acute stress, your heart rate booms and your, uh, your vasculature constricts to conserve your blood volume. But when you get grounded, your heart rate variability gets supported your heart rate gets regulated, your blood vessels start opening up, the capillaries expand, your blood flows more freely. Everything goes from a constricted, tense, traumatic state to a relaxed, flowing state that gives the biofeedback to your body that you are safe in this moment. Part of the reason we have that immediate response to stress is because our vagus nerve innervates our heart rate and our respiratory rate and our digestion. And when we go under stress and trauma, that all shuts off. Temporarily, it's supposed to be temporarily so that we can function better in an acute alert situation, right? But over time, that is not a good way to live. And so what grounding does is it immediately boosts that vagal nerve to tell the body it is okay to resume normal function, normal activity. Basically, what grounding is telling your body is it's safe can affect the vagal nerve in many different ways. You can do biofeedback. Therapists can work with you to regulate your breathing and to uh, put you in situations where your brain thinks different thoughts so that you can have a different visceral response. But why I prefer grounding or, or like to add grounding onto those techniques is in trauma, in an acute situation, we're not always in control of what we think. Our immediate fear response it depends a lot on your childhood. It depends a lot on what your past is. Um, exposures have been, it depends on your epigenetics, it depends on your family history of trauma. So we're not always in control of thinking our highest level of thought and reasoning in an immediate emergency situation. And thank goodness, because in an emergency situation, your instincts can keep you alive. So I don't necessarily want to override my instincts all the time with upper level reasoning. And on top of that, I can't always control my breathing pattern. But what I can do always is just touch the earth, just plug my conductive body in to the beautiful soothing energy that the earth is resonating and immediately it doesn't matter what thoughts are going on in my mind it doesn't matter if i have control over my breathing or not i don't have to sit there and meditate and get into a meditative stance i don't have to sit there and count you know breaths sometimes in trauma we are not even able to do those simple biofeedback 
uh, tools. But what we can do is touch the earth. You can literally touch a, a leaf on a tree. You can literally t put your hands on the ground. If you're in a panic attack, lay on the earth or uh, just stand on concrete or a sidewalk or the grass or put your hands in the dirt, in the soil, or lay down and look up at the stars above you and allow your mind to do what it needs to do, your body to do what it needs to do, and let the earth be the one that gives that vagal nerve, that biofeedback that it's okay right now. It's okay right now. So don't set into trigger into motion long-term sustained stress and trauma response when right now laying on this earth, you're okay. That is why you have an immediate decrease in your muscle tension. That is why immediately your heartbeat starts to calm and your respiratory rate starts to calm and you feel okay and you can take that deep breath. Grounding is an essential tool for acute trauma, even in, including panic attacks and emergency situations. And then long-term, it allows that sleep to be more restorative. It hopefully protects your brain from having long-term changes and your organs and your inflammatory levels of your body from having long-term uh, changes and it hopefully protects you from having long-term sustained increases in adrenaline and going into adrenal fatigue. Over time, grounding can deepen that sleep, can decrease those blood markers of inflammation, and can put your brain into that healing restorative pattern, giving your body prolonged biofeedback that it's okay, you're going to make it through this, you are strong, you're resilient. We can go through times of stress. We don't need to hold on to those times. We can release them so that it doesn't impact the way that my epigen epigenetics are read. It doesn't impact my future health. It doesn't trigger certain genes to turn on or off that are not in my best health interest. So grounding is immediately a relief and it's also long-term protective. It's essential. I talk a lot more about grounding as well as other immediately helpful healing tools to get through stress, to release trauma so that it doesn't impact your future health and doesn't create epigenetic changes in my trauma resiliency and recovery class. I would love to have you there. It starts next week. And if you want to know more about grounding and a few other really simple, but very effective healing tools about how it's normal for the body to have a stress response, but then how to relieve that response so that it doesn't become a pattern of long-term functioning. I would love to work with you in that class. Yeah. And whether you do the class or not, Consider directly touching the earth outside and grounding the next time you feel stress, the next time you have trouble sleeping, the next time you feel your heart rate go up or you feel that lump in your throat and you can tell your digestion is, is uh, turned off and shut down and you don't want to have long-term digestive problems. You don't want to have long-term muscle tension. You don't want to have chronic uh, tension headaches. You don't want to have long-term stress in your cardiovascular system and high blood pressure. What you want to do is immediately and every time and repeatedly and daily go outside and get grounded to the earth and allow that Allow that to override whatever thoughts you have, whatever panic situation you have going on, whatever immediate you know, fight or flight response you have going on. The earth can help override that for you and get you back to feeling safe.